Hello, I'm Mayor Paul Eaton. Thank you for attending the 2014 State of the City event. Despite the economic challenges of the last few years, Montclair remains a sound public agency committed to maintaining and improving our community-based public services. The City Council has adopted a string of balanced budgets and we are building our reserve capacity to face any future emergencies. Through this foundation of fiscal responsibility, we are building bridges to a Montclair future supported by a bedrock of economic development and superior community services. Approved in 2006, the North Montclair Downtown Specific Plan implemented a new concept of higher density, transit-oriented development in portions of North Montclair. The vision for the Montclair Trans Center is central to a regional public transportation system. The city is wholeheartedly building bridges to a Montclair future through its commitment to fund the engineering plans for the construction of the Gold Line from the Western San Bernardino County Line to the Montclair Trans Center. The plans and oversight fees will cost approximately $2.8 million. The city's forward-thinking approach in adopting the North Montclair Downtown Specific Plan was fundamental to the CIM Group's decision to acquire the Montclair Plaza in February of 2014. The CIM Group was attracted to the city by a variety of urban land uses and the proposed pedestrian corridor to the Montclair Trans Center. The city is diligently working with the CIM Group on a renovation concept for the Montclair Plaza. The CIM Group has redeveloped many urban, commercial, residential, and mixed-use developments. Well-known projects in the CIM Group portfolio include the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, portions of the 3rd Street Promenade in Santa Monica, and a 125-unit condominium project in Midtown Manhattan. The urban appeal of the North Montclair Downtown Specific Plan is reflected in the new community at the Paseos at Montclair North, a 385-unit upscale apartment development unique to Montclair. The Paseos has become an active, walkable, and connected community incorporating Santa Barbara-style townhouses, flats, studios, and courtyard units surrounded by open promenades, gardens, and a central park. The Paseos has easy access to Metrolink, nearby freeways, shopping, dining, and institutions of higher education. The Paseos at Montclair is an upscale community. Um, due to its central location, we have um, attracted professionals from LA, Pasadena, Orange County. Um, of course, it's great that we're right uh, next to the metro, which offers commuters a, a nice ride to work. We so far have exceeded our goals as far as leasing goes. Residents like the amenities that we offer at the Paseos. The city's role in promoting healthy and active lifestyles is complemented by the recent completion of Gold's Gym, which opened in May 2014. Construction has transformed the former Circuit City store into a 40,000 square foot state-of-the-art fitness center. Gold's Gym has an expansive workout area featuring a wide selection of cardio and strength training equipment with personal TVs and iPod docks, cardio cinema, an indoor lap pool and spa, and other amenities. Oh, Gold's Gym chose Montclair because Montclair is a very centered area in the Inland Empire in terms of residential and commercial. Uh, Montclair has been great for business for Gold's Gym and we're very happy here. We're in love with Montclair. In late spring, the largest industrial building to be constructed in Montclair in over 15 years was completed on the north side of Arrow Highway, just east of Central Avenue. Part of the 98,465 square foot concrete tilt-up building is occupied by Global Link Distribution. We move in, in um, on this year is on June, but we start the operation on July, and then. We love the Montclair, the city. You know why I buy the building in here? That means my whole family and my son to be the owner of this building, not me. So that's why we're talking about the 40 years or 50 years that we want to stay in Montclair. With the formation of the Housing Task Force in the late 1980s, the San Antonio Gateway was identified as an area in need of revitalization within the city. 
The long-term goals of San Antonio Gateway resulted in significant housing developments for the area. As a result, five housing projects were completed from 2007 to 2014. Four affordable housing projects developed by National Community Renaissance include the 75-unit San Antonio Vista Apartments, completed in 2007, the 85-unit San Marino Senior Apartments, completed in 2010, the 50-unit Vista del Silo, completed in 2011, and the recent 18-unit San Emi Special Needs Housing, completed in 2014. Bella Fina, a market-rate 106-unit single-family development, was completed in 2010. The total combined real estate cost for the four affordable housing projects was $53 million, a major investment for a previously neglected area. Building bridges to a Montclair future has resulted in the city fulfilling the long-term goals of the San Antonio Gateway by bringing major housing advancements and critical improvements to the area. Over the past 14 years, the city has persisted in literally building a bridge to a Montclair future and has been successful in obtaining additional federal funds for the Monta Vista Avenue grade separation project and acquiring the necessary right-of-way. A consultant has been selected for the bridge design and construction is anticipated to start by early 2016 and should take approximately two years and $16 million to complete. The city has also received funding for the reconstruction of the Central Avenue grade separation bridge between Holt Boulevard and Mission Boulevard. As one can see, Montclair is indeed building bridges to a Montclair future with newly paved roads and bridge construction to significantly improve road safety and reduce traffic congestion. Citywide infrastructure improvements have been Montclair's ongoing achievement in building bridges to a Montclair future. The southern portion of Montclair has been greatly improved by the completion of street improvements along the Mission Boulevard corridor and the construction of the Ramona Avenue grade separation bridge. In addition, the city continues performing ongoing street improvements in Montclair neighborhoods such as the Ramona Avenue Street Rehabilitation Project from Mission Boulevard to Phillips Boulevard that included pavement rehabilitation, curb and gutter, sidewalk, and landscaping. The Monta Vista Avenue Widening Project which added a northbound lane on Monta Vista Avenue from Howard Street to Mission Boulevard. The work required relocation of utilities, installation of curb, gutter, and sidewalks, new street lights, relocation of walls and fences, and new pavement. And the Northeast Montclair Pavement Rehabilitation Project, which included installation of new pavement on the streets affected by waterline construction by the Monta Vista Water District. The city's effort to promote a healthy lifestyle is building a bridge to a Montclair future that supports active living and locally grown food to benefit the community. The Healthy Montclair Initiative is a city project working to improve access to physical activity, locally grown food, and health care by offering healthy resources for the community. In promoting healthy food options, the city opened the Montclair Community Fruit Park at Sunset Park in late 2013. With the assistance of the nonprofit organization Incredible Edibles, over 30 different fruit trees were planted and are now maintained by local resident volunteers. The intent of the Community Fruit Park is to collect and distribute fruit in an area of the city where some residents have limited access to healthy food. Additionally, to support healthy eating, the city established the Montclair Community Certified Farmers Market on May 7, 2014, to supply the community with locally grown fruits, vegetables, and other goods for purchase every Wednesday afternoon. The city is also developing its plans to construct the infrastructure for a community garden by June 2015, 
with the assistance of Monta Vista Water District on Palo Verde Street and Ramona Avenue. This year, the City of Montclair held its first Camp Mini School summer program at the Kids Station located at the Montclair Trans Center. The six-week session began in May and featured learning and outdoor activities. Approximately 30 students attended each session. Volunteers from Cal Poly Pomona did weekly lessons on food and nutrition. The Online to College program was awarded the 2014 Dr. John W. Rice Diversity and Equity Award by the Foundation for California Community Colleges in July 2014. The award was presented in Sacramento by former Secretary of State Dr. Condoleezza Rice. Established in 1998, Online to College is a partnership between Chafee College, the City of Montclair, Chafee Joint Union High School District, and the Ontario Montclair School District. Once enrolled in the program, students and their parents are immersed in the value of a college education. When students graduate from Montclair High School, they are offered a scholarship that pays the entire cost of attending Chafee College for two years. Taking steps in building bridges to a Montclair future has led the city to a forward-thinking public safety partnership between two neighboring cities, Montclair and Upland. In December 2013, the City Council approved an agreement for the joint sharing of Fire Department command staff and the expansion of mutual aid by opening service boundaries between Montclair and Upland Fire Departments. The joint sharing of command staff created an economy of scale that is anticipated to save the city approximately $450,000 in personnel and overtime cost annually. This July, the City Council was pleased to reauthorize the Montclair Police Department's Traffic Safety Division, which was created to improve the safety of pedestrians and reduce traffic-related injuries and deaths. Funded by a grant from the State Selected Traffic Enforcement Program and asked it for future funds, up to $145,000 will be used to staff a motor officer position and necessary equipment. The joint operation of both fire departments is now under the direction of a shared command staff unit that includes one fire chief, two deputy fire chiefs, one fire marshal, and three battalion chiefs. The command staff will deliver fire protection, emergency medical services, improve service response, implement joint dispatching with San Bernardino County, and enhance training. This new direction creates a Montclair future that transforms public safety delivery, all at a reduced cost. The City Council accepted $372,000 in Federal Emergency Management Agency funds to pay for 90% of the cost to purchase a replacement for an aging 1987 fire engine. The new 2014 fire engine was placed into service in April 2014. It is enhanced with the latest equipment and technology that allows the fire department to augment its capabilities while responding to the approximate 4,000 calls for service received each year. Since the formation of the department's Community Relations Division in 2013, police staff have been developing effective approaches to better inform the public. In building bridges to a Montclair future, the police department began utilizing the Nixill Community Information Service in September 2013, which allows the department to send text messages and or email to alert subscribers with information relevant to their neighborhood. The Montclair City Council approved funding to purchase a mobile command trailer, which was delivered in July 2014. The trailer provides a mobile command center for city personnel during emergencies, disasters, critical incidents, and is utilized for community events. We at the Chamber are very excited about the businesses and the city working closer together than ever before. By providing members with vital communication for growth and expansion through their membership connections, the Chamber City and County of San Bernardino are working together to meet the current needs of the Montclair business community. In addition, 
ongoing interaction with local legislators keep our members posted on how proposed regulations affect their businesses. As promised, the Chamber is expanding all aspects of the programs and services available to members with new initiatives and enhanced approaches to existing programs. The Chamber is on track towards prolonged and future success with the programs we provide to the business community. We will continue to work with businesses by helping them reach their goals through participation in the exciting events offered by the Chamber. Building bridges to a Montclair future requires ongoing fiscal responsibility, a commitment of quality service to our residents and a partnership with our business community. Building bridges to a Montclair future will be realized with the completion of the Gold Line and the associated residential and commercial projects that are vital to our economic success. Building bridges to a Montclair future will be seen in continued support for completion of infrastructure projects, including the Monta Vista Avenue grade separation and the replacement of the Central Avenue grade separation to help reduce traffic congestion and improve safety. Building bridges to a Montclair future means that public facilities and public amenities are adequately funded to provide a diverse range of high quality programs and services for our residents. Building bridges to a Montclair future means continuing to make Montclair a safer community through its commitment to provide innovative public safety services.